As the respiratory illness known as RSV continues to spread across the country, including Hawaii, infants are especially vulnerable to getting seriously ill. In some cases, the disease can be fatal, but there are life-saving measures that can make a difference. Manolo Morales reports on what parents should know. Dramatic video from a police body cam on the mainland shows officers responding quickly, saving the life of an infant with RSV. Let me see. Come on. Open that mouth. Come on. Come on. Turn over her side a little bit. Come on. There you go. There we go. There you go. Paramedics here say RSV, the flu, and COVID-19 can show similar symptoms and can present breathing problems for infants because they have small airways. Checking their skin color is a good way to see if they're in serious trouble. If they are very pale looking, they're very tired or fatigued, and they have um, blue color on their mouth or their, their fingers, then that means that they're in severe respiratory distress. If that's the case, Adams says the first thing to do is call the doctor or 911. Then it's a good idea to check the baby's pulse by putting two fingers on the inside of the baby's bicep. What you're going to want to do is you want to put your head, your ear to their chest and by their head to look, listen and feel if they're actually breathing to so see if their chest is rising and falling. If the baby's not breathing, it's possible that they're choking so a few pats on the back could help clear the airway. Usually tapping on the back is for if there's an obstruction in their airway, if they're choking on milk or another object that we cannot see, kind of just giving them that little extra force since um, the children, um, their lungs are not developed and they can't cough. And as shown by the mainland officers who say the baby, you can then use CPR using two fingers to apply light compressions against the baby's chest. Come on, sweetie. Yeah. Come on. I can hear. Yeah, a little harder. Come on. Just keep doing CPR. Um, the dispatcher will be on the phone with you. Keep doing CPR until the paramedics arrive. When paramedics arrive, they have devices that can supply oxygen and medication to help the baby breathe easier. Adams, who has been a paramedic for 10 years, adds that it's not easy, but it's important not to panic. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.